I love me some Vertigo. T side choice. It was Big Clan that chose to start on the T side with this being the ninja's pick. So is it a gift or is it a curse starting on the T side? Oof, all right, well, we've seen that NIP on their T side have been stringing teams out a little bit more, less prevalence and less lean over towards A. They've been opting to go for more mid and B heavy approaches within the early stages. Let's see what Big have up their sleeve. This isn't a map where they are the most proficient on by any means. An action in middle already. Hampus greeted Ooh. with three in front of him. And they haven't been able to find any. Look at that. Big Clan opening up with two kills. Rez under a lot of pressure. He didn't have armor, couldn't win the jewel. And Keto's done more than win the jewel. He's actually four? taken them all down. Only one more, and Kito, damn, no slouch on that. He takes the USP and uses it perfectly. That's a dream start for the German squad. Maybe you guys missed last night where Big took on Anton Mirage. Kito was a beast yesterday. He was having a huge game. So if he can keep some of that form going, I don't want to say he's the missing link, but maybe he's the next gear for Big. Because you consider this, we know that Tabson is a bit of an animal. Zantares, that name always sounds nice on the ears. Sirison has been fantastic with the AWP and the Scout. He's a ride or die sniper player. If Keto comes in the mix as a bit of a brawler, a bit of a star fragger in the team as well, then it's just Tizian as the supportive element. But the four spy is Plopsky into the MP9. It's not... Everybody else on the team fully investing here, though. Yeah, they like to keep around that 500, 700 mark. It's enough to be resistance, and it's definitely enough to profit. Oh, the flashes are so good, and Plopsky's priorities are made clear. He's even taken down the AK-47, and Tabson's so pushed up on B. It looks very nice for the big clan conversion. There is no armor on that, and so you can feel how quickly Nork is taken out. And while this round wraps up, Chad, I'm going to run. I'll be 30 seconds. I hope you're okay on your You can be 45 if you want there, Alex. Oof. I should be able to carry this one through. And in worst case scenario, I have my trusty Rush Lee 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Rush, are you starting to get a bit of a big head? Who, me? Yeah, a big you. head? Yeah, big head. A big head? A big bloody head that can't fit through the door. You're on front page of Reddit again. I am? Yeah, your little danger zone. Oh, my clip made it. Oh, yeah. that's, that's nice. I'm very Someone happy about that. Someone commented and goes, how come I feel like I've seen this before? Uh, well, you know, I do like to do a lot of alley-oops, but I'm trying to do it from different spots. Do you like that spot, though? It's from the garage of Alpha. Yeah, I didn't mind it whatsoever. I haven't seen that one before. Yeah, um, I feel Rush, it a lot, though. How do you feel about the woes for big on this map? Uh, yeah, we're going to have to see how it goes. You know, I mean, uh, they do have these five nades, though, Chad. We do like nade stacks. An yeah. Observer's favorite, actually, but look at this. They're going to A, so it's yeah, right. they can save them. Well, I'm going to run the people at home because the stack is in the wrong place just through the recent results for Big. If you can mute your mic because I don't want to hear everybody's yeah, yeah, cutlery, sure, sure, that'd sure, be sure. great. Thank you. As it is dinner time here in the studio, if you guys uh, at home are reading as well, maybe send us a happy snap. Use the hashtags. Tag me. Where's our chicken from today, Chad? Uh, they, it, according to the chef, he called it Lebanese chicken. Ah, so we've got some chicken from Lebanon. But uh, I was just running people through. Oh, wait, hold up. These stack nades might get juicy. Yeah, they are lined up to stop and deny the plant. Here we go. Ooh, and on that, they charge forward. Look at that destruction, death, demise. Centara's down to 34. If Twist was to find a crazy shot at his pistol, but doesn't seem to be working out all too well for them. Oh, the spray was not there for Zantares. Searson has four HP. He'd really rather not be losing his goodies, but that nade does take the necessary damage, or be as distance from it. They've made a lot out of this. Gosh. It shouldn't be anything more. Tizian confirms it as he finds the res cross, and they will maintain their AKs. They got the bomb down. Everyone's happy, but it's time for a weapon round. Now, let me quickly catch everyone up, because I said I was going to do it, and then I didn't do it. Now I'm going to do it. Okay, so in recent history, it has been a big loss on Vertigo to MIBR. That was during Flashpoint Season 2. It was a 16-13 loss. Before that, they did beat Complexity 16-14 to during Blast. Then they've had some back-to-back -back losses against Heroic, a 16-5, a 16-14, and a 16-2. That was three of their Vertigo losses in a row to Heroic. So not the easiest of teams to beat, as NIP had the same struggles. Norks. Let a shot go awry there with the frustrated wow mouse wiggle. And look at this, the little rat. Ampus, he loves the push. He loves some aggression. We've seen this time and time again. And he's just attracted to their own smoke. They're actually boosting up fast on B. Nork steadies his aim and punishes a jumping plop. Ampus pushed up again, taking advantage. This is good signs of life from the ninjas, and they want more. Oh. Yes, and no slouch on the AWP. You give him a chance, and he will flourish within it. He's caught the mid-round the, uh, mid progression, so now Rez kind of is in limbo. He wants to get info, but at what cost? Spray doesn't find to anything. They start their walk up. Well, they have enough nades for this execute. We'll see the back side smokes. We'll see a molly potentially to sandbag or the boost box. Either way, Rez is about to be in a bit of trouble. He has his Molotov to slow this down. 
We've seen them make a couple of misplays in this in recent times. One that may have even cost them vertigo against Heroic just the other day. Default mollied, bomb down regardless. Safe plan and a retreat. Looking great for a stabilization here of Big. Campus regretting that push, I'm sure. Keto could be flanked here. Twister's got a great timing. Keto completely unawares now. Searson can't be such a threat on sandbags. He has to acknowledge that threat. Rez pushing into the site. Nork has found Searson. Tizian, will he be checked? Oh, they haven't seen him. And he's already found the first. The flank twist Ooh. knocks him off the building. And they will get that 10 second diffuse. And it had to be a 10 second. Yeah. They didn't have a kit as well. So that's a really big retake coming in from the individuals. Nork with a double as well as Twist. It, it's interesting Keto hadn't anticipated that flank. It was very quick from Twist. Straight into the double up as well as a note. So they've made sure they pick up both of those. Nork carrying his across. Rez dropping his back to Twist. His guns are now being passed around. Pass the parcel to work out the buy for NIP. Meanwhile, Big, they're doing the same. Sirison back onto the AWP. Tabson with the only emission here, rocking into round number five with the P250. There'll be three AK-47s alongside of him and the utility galore, whereas NIP, they're a little bit more skimp. You can only see Nork and Hampus operating with very little. And Nork with the toes onto the legs of Sirius and finds one. Hampus with some aggression through the smoke. He's found Tabson. Yeah, look at that. Not deterred by Searson's shutdown. Searson confirms there was an AWP on ramp. Oh, a fumble there. I would love to see it. No, the jig might be up as Plopsky's now going to look through the grading. Might have a chance to punish here. They're going for the boost on the other side. We'll see some toes and more seen info, enough. yeah. He's seen enough. Nork's holding it and he's missed his shot. He's going to be really starting off a little, a little clunky is Nork and he's one of our favorites so far. After his break, he's coming with a surge in individual form and that off angle from Hampus. Oh, wow continues to be a real cheeky presence and more utility arriving on B seems to deter them and spur them back to A. All of them charging now up the ramp. Where's the info? Will they hear this? Rez certainly can. He says, boys, I got company. If they don't take short, he can swing. Nork knows that. Searson, excuse me, make an assumption. Searson's low and he sent lower. Nork's even caught another. So it is just down to Keto. Already two francs to the good. He's down half health. 35 as the has potential to at least hunt down Rez. No one's holding it. Oh, this is a lot of space for Keto to operate. And he does tap away at one. Quickly traded. Twist not making any mistakes today. That's exactly what the ninjas needed, continuing to close that gap right at the opening stages of our first map. And while they ain't got cash to splash, have they, Chad? They got nothing. Yeah, just the pebbles for big as might be an eco. I like the way you say pebbles. Can you say that? Why don't you say that more often? Pebbles. Yeah, I really like that. Okay. I was uh, thinking about starting to cast in my real Australian accent. Australian? Australian. I think you definitely get a little more attention for a short period of time. Yeah, it wouldn't be very long lasting, I don't think. I don't think I could keep it up either. I, I've never really sounded like that. It's more for the camera, if you know me. Glass window's broken. Off of that, Bobsky gets contact. Oh. Bobsky gets flatlined. Yeah, and Twist is missed. Now he's going to get overrun. He's missed two, two times. Finally, the second orb shows up, but they can overwhelm these with a bit of smoke. Starting to push. It's an MP9. It's only Tabson. The rest of his teammates have been taken from him. Oh, he nearly transfers. He could get a second here. Valiant attempt. Get the other orb, boys. They will. And Nork was the orb tested and succeeding. Triple kill from him as they did find an opening, thanks to Keto. All right, well, we do want to see Nork warming up. I think he's a win condition for NIP. One of the big reasons is his, ooh, that I picked him was because of his performance. Sorry, the team, not him. It's not just a one-man so, army. Uh, myself, Hugo Rush, and uh, yourself went for NIP and Big, chosen by Trace and Harry. I think this is another 50-50. Oh, I'm yeah. not sure what confidence I put down, but I think it was about that mark because it will be a partial buy-in to be Rush. Hampers, look at this. Oh, those flashes were so good. He had time. He does get the opening kills. Thompson's lining up a construction molly. Love to see it. Nork will be forced off. He's on an elevated position. He's holding a very far line. The bomb can go down uncontested. The nade will soften him up. Oh, not quite. Too deep. Bit too deep. Look how much utility they still have for this, though. They've it's got a couple of mollies. Double retake, bro. I don't like it. Rez is going to have to do something. Is he ready for Tizian's off angle? The job site table. Well, yeah, Tizian, you got a job. A deagle headshot, please. Can't find it. Rez now applying pressure. That's huge because now Tabson has to be concerned about the stairs. This position loses its value. 
Nork missing his shots. Time ticking. Need to close the gap on the site now. And Hito does Shitting. go down. They've got enough time. They've got the kits. And they'll defuse with a couple of seconds to spare. Big Clan caught out. Rez's duel a big part of that. That's one of the things that modern Counter-Strike has over years ago was when teams used to rush situations like that, would run in without clearing their corners, without being diligent, but now so aware of the clock. The extra five seconds helps as well as the bomb timer has been bolstered. I mean, especially because you, sometimes I see it when, when you get early space on a site, you've got all that util, that extra five seconds, just it, it's a molly. It's yeah, one molly, you know, exactly. and it kind of it makes sense. Well, now we'll get back into the throws of the gun rounds here. A dicey one for NIP, but they survive once more, and that's been name of the game so far in the early stages here of the first map. Smoke towards the ramp. Interested to see whether or not they go from more, like a more aggressive A ramp control. Rez's positioning implies he will. We even stole their little flash for our own matchmaking game. So. Very satisfying to take some ramp control off the back of this. He's going to actually nade up Tabson's corner just as Huge it fades. Damage. Yeah, and now Rez should have an advantage on this duel. Hi, little crab. Picks him up, has a dinner, peeks on the flash. It's such a good one from Hampus. They demand ramp control and they take it by force. Keto's in the corner. Smoke, even a flash on his face. Tizian's trying to push through, but... Ampus ready for it, finding his this. second. There's a lockdown. Nothing. Oh, even the shots in the smoke have found him. Keto lucky to find one. Hampus finds his third. An NIP, that's a statement of intent. You will have to work if you want ramp. Let me write that one down. Round eight. If you're at home and you're looking at getting some ramp control for your Vertigo games, probably copy that because everything was picture perfect. That smoke between the box, forcing only one line of sight. It's They're having to strafe out quite wide to right take eye. those jewels. Yeah. yeah, I hadn't even considered that. The smoke on the box, yeah, onto that molly. You just basically have full right eye jewels all the way into the uh, the room. Yeah, so everything there was great. They were softening up with the nades. The utility usage deep was even better. The positioning was fantastic. And NIP, they put five consecutive rounds on the board here. Big clan. What can you do? You will take a timeout, talk through your options, get the coach Toby involved. See what he has to say about this one. If you're just taking a quick look at the recap right there, you can see Keto, nine frags for him. I also want to make sure we say, while there's plenty of eyeballs on the ninjas in pajamas, that uh, reports are that they have been very dominant during this period of time in scrims. Obviously not always translating it into uh, official play. That's why we've seen a couple of earlier exits. Ooh, Nork, multiple targets, overwhelmed. He tucks in in time, but Tabson's showing no signs of slowing. Good grief, Tabson, look how fast he is. He's already opened up the site, a deep smoke CT. Twist isn't ready, Tabson's one around. That is the start of the Big Clan show, and that was a lot of pace. He's even found Hampus. I'm impressed, color me, ready for more of that. Big Clan take the fourth in the blink of an eye. It's over already, and Tabson just showed absolutely no willingness to stop that push. Twist was so unready for that. You couldn't quite believe it. If the call was coming in, Jens, you're probably not expecting that. Whew. That was some pace to it. Look how fast he's taken that fight. I can't fight. believe that. I haven't seen that in some time. We've seen it through middle, but not through B like that. And the fact that he had so much faith in their utility usage to get them that deep. Damn, Oof. Tabson. Okay. How'd you find this? That's a way to bounce back. Money's still decent for NIP. They were a bit of buy again, and now back over towards A. Big, they're better. not dissuaded. Better. Yeah, they used double HEs on that ramp progression this time. That was heroic inspired. I think they did the same thing the other day to NIP just to dissuade them from that early aggression. So now being kept honest, the ninjas might have to reconsider that aggression in future rounds. Yeah, but the casualty on the B stairs, Keto gone. You can see his corpse now being paraded over by Plopsky. Bit of a stalemate these B players who will flinch first. Wow, don't see this one before or haven't seen this one before. No, this is a strange one. So maybe it's an extra little angle you would think as you're walking along that back wall that you're probably hidden to a line like this. So Rez will have an advantage if they opt for that angle, but it doesn't look to be the case. Sirson looks like he's going to be peering his head up on the sandbag. Hello. Oh, couple of shots there going awry as Nork will find tabs since they still have the number advantage, but Pressure's on. Yeah, Searson doesn't get the uh, luxury of a missed shot this time. Tizian and Zantares, they are returning to where they've been holding. Zantares was on the B stairs, so they can at least have the information that Tizian can progress up through spawn. And he is. Plopsky hasn't moved far, and that's a big win from Tazian. Makes a round out of this, especially now paired with Zantares in mid. 
Taking a lot of liberties here, but he wasn't anticipating Twist CT. Tizian into the site. Nork missed shot, needs a frag here. Tizian wants the 1v1, but Nork fights it. Stands his ground, takes the sixth. Five force, double kill for Twist and Nork respectively. That's the start they were looking for here on the defense. One, two, three. That's six of the last seven rounds going Nip's way, and that sent Big back to the cleaners. I think that Big here could stay aggressive with their buying, and, and the reason is NIP, with two staying alive, they have to drop a couple of grunts. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Interesting one there from Twisty Boys. Look at this. So they're opting in. Yeah, it makes perfect Armor. sense. It's just a question of whether or not they can convert. Rez is going to meet those nades this time. Does he have the confidence to still face it? Yeah, he'll drop his nade all the same. Landing right square on the toes of Zantara's. Does he want to re-smoke? Oh, Hampus has gone down. Big casualty. Rez has to reposition. Short open. Wait, is that where the frag came? Wait, what? Oh, okay. He Never mind. Yes. Okay. It looked with where with the kit fell. That was quite curious. I thought it was actually further away that he had died, but there was no wall bang. There was nothing along those lines. It was just a standard jewel. As now with that kill, we can see that NIP have had to opt into more of a retake setup, giving a lot of liberties over towards the ramp They're now. Drop in Nork solo B and they'll play three A. They've rotated Plopsky over to middle. He'll be the first responder once the contact on A is found. I'd like to see them re-aggress here, the ninjas. They need to use some of their smokes a little bit more aggressively. They are caught in no man's land now. They're going to call it off. Or are they? I really would like them to get aggressive. Yeah, there's going to be a potential train run boost or a push into the site. They take short. They're swinging in. And good pass from Plopsky. He's going to get peeked on by Tapson. Can't finish the job. Twist in limbo has adjusted nicely into one. Makes it... Relatively competitive with 30 seconds though, Nork, I think he's still thinking better of it. Yeah. And so this will be a big clan success and, and converting off of that opening kill. Hampus going down without a peep. And he was a fifth to be found on the T side here. Important stuff, and that's going to put NIP's money in question now. So Nork holding onto the AWP is integral for them going forward to at least being able to find some damage. Wonder if they want to send Nork out to try and duel against Sirius and if they want to go for similar scenes over towards A, up towards the ladder room. Just going to tuck on in. Big barrel of the orb will be spotted in most teams as they defend and try and save after an A detonation. We'll be over on this ledge. You can see Zantara, Sirison standing side by side. The bomb is not going to do too much damage to them whatsoever. Alles good, as the Germans would say. Bomb goes off and the scoreline six to five. Neck and neck so far. I think NIP, their T side's been one of the most well refined in terms of the approach to draw rotations and make sure that AEC T side defenders waste their utility on basically nothing. And then as soon as they know that they've softened up how many players will be holding towards that avenue, they start getting a little bit more aggressive. But they're going to buy in. Not fully invested. Is this the default smoke or is this the new G2 variation onto the sandbags? We'll see it bloom on towards the ramp now. And so far seems to be. Standard scaf smoke. Nork's holding middle. He's about to get wide swung. As Antares peak, if you will. Oof. Nades force him off, and Twist was not expecting that. Oh dear. The mid crossfire. The gamble. It's not been rewarded. Nork under a lot of scrutiny now. And <laughs> interesting manages, extinguish. Manages to get the sound cue at least. Well, that's not going to get him anything. They won't push into it. No, and now they can just finish A. They can finish A. As fast or as slow as they desire, there is not much that the uh, Swedes will be able to do unless Hampus fancies a double D aggressive on his own. Yeah. Burning and pushing. Tries to take some initiative. And he does take Zantaras with him. That's worth something. He's such a nuisance. Like, when you die that way, you're just frustrated. He's like, you really, dude? Like, that's that's yeah. what you went for? Right, right. right. Okay, yeah. bro. And that's pretty much the, re the reaction to many of Hampus's decisions. He knows how to be a nuisance, does Hampus. He's got a flash for Plopsky to look for info, and that's what Sirson's waiting for. Bingo. Now. Well, they know Nork was close because of that flash, so yeah. yeah. Just guess... get out of dodge. Don't hang around where Nork is. Don't give him a chance to clutch. Just leave a couple of players there to hunt him down, and Sirson's confirmed. Oh, he's That's boxed suspicions. in. Look at this. He's boxed in. They're coming from all angles. Oh, dear. <laughs> Couple of misses. He's had a few so far, Nork. Not what we usually see, and now the money for NIP will equal a save. Big, they can actually take the lead. That would be monumental, considering just how quickly we saw those CT rounds uh, manifest. It was through a slew of six. 
seven rounds of play in the half waypoint of this half. Searson catching that off the flash. He was so ready for that. Clean, pristine. Thompson, three kills. We do see a level even key on 66 and a mid rush. So it's going to profit Resin AK. Maybe he could catch and punish Keto if he continued to push, but it's unlikely. And they'll just take the advantage, albeit minimal. And just run into the A site. Easy peasy for Big Clan. They'll plan safe. Seem to be very happy with that, especially, you know, it's it's an evolution of the, uh, the stopped incendiaries and nades. Uh, just quickly as well, the last time these two teams played was during the run of ESL1 Cologne and NIP and Big faced on the exact same three maps as what we're seeing now. Vertigo fell in the favor of NIP 16 to 5. Uh, sorry, to Big 16 to 5. Uh, and then we saw the likes of Nuke, which was 28 26 for NIP, and Mirage 16 7 in the favor of NIP as uh, the series progressed back there. So that's uh, actually quite curious considering all the tournaments we've had. The fact that these guys have only met each other twice since coming back from the player break. You can't say that for too many of the units out there with all the games considered. Bomb goes off, seventh on the board. And we'll get back underway with the gun rounds here. That AK carried across, Nork onto the AWP. I would like to see more of that early round progression. That was a big part and a big factor of NIP finding those early rounds and just completely slowing down the big clan finish. Because, I mean, Big Clan, if you, if you give them early kills, they will lock themselves down into a regimented finish. The early exchange is a big factor in the conversion for NIP. Let's see if they can find anything early. Three. Aggressive from Big Clan. Hampus thinking about it. Oh, early Molly. Molotovs and Nades stopping the peaks. Does he really want to have a glance? It's being held by Searson on a slither gap of that smoke. A flash and a glance. Just wants to spray out anyone crossing. A Tabson already has. Rez responsible for nading That's him. That. that sound, he knows there's one in the smoke and the spray's there too from Rez. Tags up Tabson considerably. Forces out the nade. If they re-aggress here, like smoke and drop a molly and try and fight, that might be the cue, but it looks like Twist is setting up something. It was just lining himself up in that corner with a smoke in hand. Rez is in trouble any moment right now as they continue to jostle for position. I hate this limbo. Always feels so awkward for both sides. Oh. Oh, Playing with fire here. Oh, Searson's actually going to get a chance. And he's hit the shot onto Hampus, playing around the smoke. No slouches, Searson. Really enjoyed seeing what he's brought to Big Clan. And Twist is in the off angle, up on the crane, elevated a little. Perhaps Searson's head visible if he lets go of Crouch. Bombs out mid. They're not even going, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Bombski caught out completely. Tabson's got the bomb, he'll be going into B. They can't believe it. Sisson's even caught another. Nork, quick reactions onto Keto. Tabson alone on the site. Maybe Nork can do some more damage. But they play for stairs. Bomb's down for stairs. And Searson's been working on a flank. He can play this to perfection if he goes slow. Just when the duels start getting taken towards stairs, towards Tabson's position, he's mollied backwards. And they get the first. Are they forgetting about the flank? Searson. Won't be spotted out just yet. No one's looking his way. He's got enough to deny the defuse here. Just has to hit Rez, and he has. What are you going to do? Searson's denied it. Nork's hunting. Searson rotting the clock just through survival, and that is the job of a star orper. Clutches, converts, and keeps the orp away as well. Eight for Big Clan. And that's been a break. The ninjas in pajamas ranks. You can see what little cash they have. It will be Deagles. It will be MP9s. Yikes. And this started with a Searson frag on eight. Not with two Searson frags on eight. And he finishes it off with a dank flank as well. Now, uh, we didn't actually get to see that smoke that Hampus was trying to look under at the top of the ramp, but it feels to me like NIP have geeked that one out hardcore. There was just a gap under that smoke where he could actually see the players walking up the ramp. Unfortunately for Hampus, they'd already taken space. And speaking of space, Plopsky's pushed towards the B lobby already. He's taken the fight with the MP9. They want to take this last round by the balls because they're not working with a lot here. They do have to go for those fights and getting segregated all over the map now. NIP have lost middle. There's nobody home and it's being absolutely taken by Big. They'll love this. I like the way they did that boost. It was quick. There was no fumbling. I've seen a lot of that in recent times. As this one stalls out now, the early aggression has been held at bay and... Oh, as they continue to push middle, look at this gap that Nork's dealing with. He gets smoked off, can't do a lot. Or oh, Zantarez. Yeah, Zantarez. Yep. 
down to 10 HP before he even gets to see him. See, since he even made his orb work as well. This is great stuff from Big. Smoked off. Info denied. They can finish wherever they desire. This is such great pressure. I like the, the angle from Plopsky. He could catch Keto sleeping. Oh, great frag. Another body hits the deck for the ninjas. Awkward now. Where do you rotate? Nork was already tagged up. Zintara's got him so low. You can see his pr approach is calculated. Nork actually hit that. Okay, so Keto will go down. So does the bomb. Tizian holding them and CT. Great control of his spray. 11 frags found. It's only Rez. He's being held. Nine to six. Big Clan, what a statement. They hold the lead and they hold it by a considerable margin going into the defense. And IP Big Clan continues in just a moment. Nine six half starts our vertigo off with a bang. We've seen some tabs and aggression, some tizzy and consistency in the Berlin International Gaming Squad. have got smiles on their faces. Keto playing from his bedroom and he's got his ducks in a row, at least on the door and scores on the doors. Nine to six. Chad Birchall is a friend of mine. He's also sometimes an analyst. He's here. Not for much longer, Alex. Yeah, I can't wait to get rid of you. Nine to six. And I am hoping to see all of that util C action. It's been a Bit of a shift we've noticed in the meta as of late for Counter-Strike. It's those pistol T-rounds with Util driven. So they take B-Stairs control without having to throw a thing. That's the start. Yeah, putting their bodies on the line there. That is a very common peak, especially for some USPs. But this is them 
retooling early. NIP on their T Look sides. At Zach on B. They got two mid two B. I guess they've been watching the demos where Hampus tends to just run on in there. But it makes oh wait, Tatum, was he walking down? Okay, phew we. Where's this smoke going? It's just being thrown out from spawn. Oh, it's gonna be very quick. Already onto the site. Bomb site smoked. They've got another for the right hand side. Tapson's actually trying to use that smoke to his advantage, but he's been spotted out now, doing everything he can. Twist found Sears and Hampus elevated. They are planting. Oh, he's giving it a good go. Rez vulnerable. Rez actually stabilizes. He finally found three on three. This is chaos. Plopsky handles it. Quickly going down. Double. A flurry of frags. They're on the bomb. Tizian has a kit. Spotted oh. one. Twist is converted, but Tizian's there. That's great from Big Clan. What a retake. It looked like NIP were in full control, but it was the push, the chaos created by the push, and just the two of them, Tizian and Zantares, finding five frags between the two of them. It's a big pistol round to win, and no pun intended there. The gravitas of that, depending on what NIP decide to do with their buy right here, could be felt, and there you go. NIP, they are buying in here. Galil, Scouts, Oof. it's an all-in. They lose this. They, but they bomb planted normally. On yeah. a bomb plant, you see teams... Just weather the storm, maybe P250s, Deagles, and you get the full weapons and all your bells and whistles into the next, but they don't want it. Or drop in AKs, and this time they've actually gone for Galil, so hopefully that doesn't come back to bite them here. NIP, you need to be competitive in this one. Yeah, it's against scouts and MP9s, and well, Zantares has kind of ruined Plopsky's day. Uh, that spray, enough to completely deter him. I, I would kind of like to see a Deagle and Galil swap to Hampus. He has the armor to wield it. It's a very clear indication. Am I going through puberty again? Uh, you could do. That happens every now and again. Or is it because I've been talking for six days straight? Uh, seven. Seven days straight. Tizian, you're playing with fire here, and he's not retreating immediately. He wants to wait for the spray to quit. Does manage to dip away just as it fades. Great moves from him. Still scary. Zantaras wants more. Look at this guy. Oh, it's gone. Hampus' is Deagle's good. Uh-oh. Rare to see a Searson scout miss. Never mind two, and he's been allowed to get away. I say that. With bated breath, Rez has punished him just as he tucked in. Keto's working on the flank, and with Plopsky's health, the MP9 will be functional at this range. He's going to have to keep moving. That's a big frag. That's the bomb loose, and now the numbers do favor them. They have to be concerned about the flank. Do they want to flush him out, or do they want to continue towards A? Looks like the latter. And feet are spotted. Hampus needed to convert that one there. That's a big frag from Tizian. Taking a chance as well, even flashing short. Rez might be concerned about that push. God, they are passing each other like ships in the night. This is going to end terribly for Rez. This is so active from Big. I love it. This is really active stuff. I mean, you said the last time they faced it was a 16-4 in favor of Big or something? 16-5, uh, yeah. Five, yeah. So with a scoreline like that, it is surprising to see NIP pick back in, but that was in Cologne, which is back in August. We're now at the middle of November. So uh, there's been a lot of growth in that time. We've liked the things we've seen from NIP on Vertigo. But Big, maybe they just have the trump card to this. Maybe their play style is just the anti-ninjas in pajamas, because at this stage of the game, it will just be the pistols. And it's looking like a 12th for Big. We haven't seen Plopsky be activated right now. Only five kills for him. Everybody else around a similar scoreline for the remainder of NIP and more inquisitive looks from Tizian. And Aid is good too. Look at all that damage. It ain't going to be easy for Rez. This is NIP's pick as well. This has got a real foreboding feeling to it. Big in two would feel like justice from that Cologne game because I'm telling you that 28-26 that they had was just an absolute back and forth affair. It felt like that game was never going to end. Hampus is always good for one, it seems, regardless of the weapon in his hands. And Tara's similar. He looks great. Bang. More damage inflicted before they even have to fire a bullet. Twist working with 39. Searson holding down the flank. And there's even more nade damage on its way. This is brutality. <laughs> it's actually trivial in the, the grand flank scheme. As well. but yeah, Rez does get found out. This MP9 is about to go farming unless Plopsky hits a banger. Has Double done back. just that. They're throwing the util. They're losing players. Plopsky's gone. Tabs and lucky to be alive after the damage inflicted brings him down to nothing. Millimeters of health keeping him alive. Tabson is, with that low HP, he just needs to stay alive as a number, right? right? <laughs> At this point, for him, it's just, okay, we're in a two on three. Whereas it is going to be Keto potentially going to get both of these. Look at this position. We saw Plopsky use it to no avail. Keto makes it work. Death from above. The final two with the MP9. 12 to six now. It is a quick one. It is. And it's uh, rare to see considering... NIP's prowess on this map. They wouldn't have picked it otherwise. Big Clan have just come in so prepared and so individually tuned. It doesn't look like there's anything separating. Yeah, look at this. 14, make it 13 on the low end, 16 on the high end. There's two kills separating top from bottom. It's a full team effort. Great stuff. Good sign of the times for Big Clan. 
They were crowned world number one during this online era. It would be good to have them back in the foray for no. uh, the, the playoffs. You consider we have Vitality, we have Heroic, both being world number ones this year. Astralis, of course, Na'Vi. Some huge names in the playoffs already. He's actually surprising us all. Keto nearly finding himself a second. The spray's just a little off. Rez does find the head. So even trades. Tizzy and aggressive, though, down the ramp, and he's plot. He's got a set to find Plopsky here. Surely he's re aiming it. Oh, dearie me. AK VMP9, and Tizzy still wins it. Yeah, this is just falling this apart. Is clinical. This is great from Big. Some of the best CS I've seen them play in a while. Yeah, 100%. Not going to dispute that. Searson's set up for the long hold. That smoke won't cover his gaze for too long. Does mean they can walk up the ramp, though, and Tizzy not willing to stand and fight that just yet. Now he goes for the info. The one way smoke, so he doesn't want to contest this. For good reason. That Molly's going to help. He might be able to re peek after that smoke fades and twist. You're being pushed again, my friend. Look at all the space that gets taken. Tabson's pushed, Keto's pushed, Searson's pushed. Only really a few rounds in this second half. Yeah. Oh, he's been spotted by Tabson. Is Tabson a knifer or a shooter? I think he'll shoot him. Oh, oh dear. Never Twister's mind. actually found him. Dumb no question, decision. I guess. Twister's shut him down. Where's the bomb? Nork's bringing it. Twist wants to hit B. You'd have to get past Antares. And the smoke's going to enable him to try a little harder to do so. He's already tucking in, though, towards default. Uh oh, that's the bomb carrier. Wow, big R potent. That was double from Zentaris. Gets both of them. And even upgrading to an AK 47, I'd be fearing the man with a one shot headshot, considering his precision. Oh, this here is going to be over before we know it. What's map two? Nuke. We breeze through the vetoes. That's right. Yeah, so it's the same map pool, same order. I wonder if it'll be the same result because this is looking very familiar as to how last time transpired in NIP. Well, it already feels too late. Scoreline 13 to 6, and now they're taking a timeout. And they're not able to get confidence in their own map pick. Moving on to Nuka's map number two. We will bring you all the info regarding both of these teams' recent results on it. But I will let you know that it's better for Big uh, by a large margin. NIP have had losses to Na'Vi, Vitality, Sprout, Fnatic, FaZe, Spirit, Mouse Sports, Complexity. That's all since September. They've only had two wins out of their last 10 games. And one of those was that 28-26 scoreline I was talking about against Big. It's not the dream star. NIP, you came in with six and you're still facing, staring down the barrel. Not the six that cannot be moved. Fully invested is Hampus. You can see the uh, hero AK he plans to wield. Well, what have we seen him do in the past? Go quick onto the B bomb site, bully them for some openings, so maybe he Give needs me a to inspire them. Channel your inner Tabson. Just hold W. And get that knife out. Believe in the flashes. Boys, I'm flashing. Trust me, I'm going in. Knife out, W held. Hampus is on his way. Will he meet Keto's orb? Molly will keep him at bay for now. Good incendiary. Keeps the uh, lid on NIP's T start. More of a contained approach right now. No early indication, no early damage. I say that, of course. The nade gets thrown out and Plopsky has that land at his feet. Hampus now working a pick over towards B. Mounts on top of his teammate's head and catches a glimpse of the head, but not the shot. Keto, too good. And your body... It is off the building, Hampus. Good night, sweet prince. Didn't lose the AK, though. Rez managed to grab it, snatch it from his cold, dead hands <laughs> as he backflipped off the building. Yeah, NIP just not feeling it right now. Not getting anything done. Not a lot of traction. They're currently working with three smokes, one flash and a Molotov, and boosting up over towards the wooden boards on B. They will need to keep their head tucked. Keto has a good idea of all the different avenues onto the B bomb site. Second man being boosted on up. Vulnerable to the res there. They're setting up the utility. He's actually dropping out. I don't mind this. So ready to fight. He's actually got two opportunities. Peaks and dies on the second. Hampson holding down mouse one. He's got the oh, M4A1 later. and catching Plopsky through the smoke. Nork needs a multi. Hampson denies it. Big Clan just showing absolutely no sympathy to NIP. They really are making this one hurt. I'm seeing double orbs acquired as well. Nort grabbing one, so triple in the server tonight. 
Keto, this is a great repeat. So not only does he find it oh. just as Hampus dug down, it must have been milliseconds separating. He just gets the lovely repeat as they start to flood in. He almost had the double too. He uh, legged up twist through the second kill that he was able to grab there. So that made life a lot easier for that B defense. And if you can't tell by the tone, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're feeling like this one's all packed up already. NIP have come in today, not looking hot to trot. Vertigo might be over very, very quickly. Two more rounds now for Big Scrolling 14 to 6. And now Sirius and Searching using the Molly. That's a pick on the Hampus. Oh, he nearly hit it. He was ready for it. Twist, however. And Tabson. Could he be caught? He's got his knife out here. What's Tam I don't think Tabson's expecting that. Yeah, look at that push from Twist. It could not have been timed better. Tabson did well to do anything with that reaction. And now it's only Keto and Zentares. This is the best shot for the first T round of the Ninjas. I would like to see a gamble here. It looks like they want to both play over towards A, and I don't mind that whatsoever. You have to take a risk in this number disadvantage. You either look, look for kills, or you just stack a sight and gamble. Yeah, the Molly spurred Plopsky forward a little. Ito lining up a smoke grenade as well, but it's Twist that's about to get caught. What a shot. Great spray. Three for Twist in this round. It's a bit of a hero role reversal. He's even sweeping through to flank on towards Antares. If Twist goes down here, there's a chance for Zantaras to rotate over, so he, lucky he's just tucking in. We can see at that elevated position, not going to be easy to clear, and now even a little bit more ratty. There's no way Zantaras clears this, surely. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, and he didn't lose a single point of health. Zantaras not known to be an AWPer, but he will try and hold the cross gap. Not planting confirms the one made it across, and he tags Ooh. in with the AWP. Zantaras not ready for Plopsky. And so, seven. Finally, NIP break their silence. The damage is done. NIP, thank, thank Twist, thank the star, finding three. You'll get an AK back out. This was the third frag, really important one on the flank. So NIP seven and Big Clan though, just looking to reset. Make sure you get the high fives right, guys, the low fives. Or any of the fives, the fist bumps, the handshakes. What about a cursory glance and a nod? A nod works, as long as it's done with respect. Oh, absolutely, a respectful nod, I should have specified, sorry. Now, this is going to be big, already brought down to just a bit of a save round here. They don't want to take a risk, and for good reason, they have a commanding lead. It will take some time for NIP to catch back up, and that's whether or not they can weather the storm just against these Deagles, the Scout. Oh, yikes, Tizzy and spam down through the metal. I still feel like they would want to go for the boost, but with such low HP, it's almost just a catastrophe waiting to happen. Feels like now with the low HP, no matter what they choose to do, they might be in a rough spot. Flashes out, good for space, but they tuck away. You know, this could be a crazy kills. Just taking a double each. Rez and Plopsky, Keto's dead. Okay. So, that's the consecutive two. Don't lose anything. No one's going to be complaining on the Ninjas. Keto's bought straight back into an AWP, which means they will be rocking double ops again. Clearly something they've identified as part of their game plan of how they want to rock this CT defense. Tizian only operating with 4K. Might go for the Famous to get the utility up or an SMG, depending on if he wants to go aggressive towards the ramp again. It will be the MP9, so that tells me I want to get up in the face of that A ramp defense. Rez lobbing out the smoke from spawn. That one's going to land towards Scaff, and it's a four-man lean towards the A site. Keto threw that smoke towards the ramp. Now he goes back towards middle, and away we go. Nork thinking better of pushing that one while Twister taking space towards middle again, but he's already been a hero once. How many times can they expect him to bail him out? Ain't that the question. Hampus is about to throw some nades here, setting up a Molotov either towards construction. I think that'll be the... Oh, he's jiggling through his nades right now. It's a bit hard to make the call. <laughs> Twist still. This will be dry. Sears can't believe his luck. He gets a freebie. NIP just not prepared for an all progressive middle. That's the double orb setup finding first blood. They walk up ramp with no contact. Oh, barrel spotted? Yeah, Zantaras, you could be completely caught unawares here. One click. <laughs> Rez has the sight. Tabson denies it. Plopsky's trying to cross in as well. Tabson's ready for that duel, but the spray from Plopsky's strong enough. Now, they have utility to stop the plant, but are they accounting for a hamper slipping the net in this mid? So strange. I like the NIP playbook here, because Keto again caught out of place. Do they want to pivot B? It seems they might, with Hampus dropping the util. Nork's rotating back through. Tizian with oh, a crucial a bad death. flag. Yeah, that's a bad death indeed. Hampus could have just pressed pause, but now... The question is, where do we go? Searson, cognizant that they could be walking through A, and they are. This is a really weird round. Searson doesn't have any idea now. Nork's going back to A. Plopsky punishes. 
Oh, looking good for the ninjas. Fantastic for the ninjas, in fact. Tizian has 19 HP and likely not going to want to contest too much. It's like a merry-go-round. That's some strange counter show. I just feel like we're going around in circles for a lot I mean, of like, that. Back and forth. You know how he said forth. Hampus had a bad death and because yeah. like, he was rotating B, but it actually worked out in favor of them because it pulled Searson to try and fill that gap. And it meant that Plopsky could slip the net and kinding that frag was enough to win the round. All right. NIP, that's going to be three T rounds posted on this second half. We know that their T side is where the strength is, but it felt like Big's aggression was too good too early. Now that they've been whittled down in a few of these, starting to look better for NIP. But once again, you've probably heard me say it in a lot of these games, it's only a matter of time until we see Big picking up too. If NIP can battle this one back and keep it close, they have some mental resilience. It's not impossible by any means. This is Counter-Strike. But the reason I, I... Look, maybe we change it from a bad death to uh, an unnecessary death. Yeah. He could have kept his life and they could have planned to be and probably fortified. But Plopsky, well handled. And a very strange exchange on the site. The fact that Rez is just able to crouch walk all the way up and kill Zentaras. That is very strange. But it's down to the pistols. Susan has been gifted the saved AWP from Tizian. So being a good teammate as they've set the big man up with the gun that he requires and always uh, desires. And we didn't get to see Oh, that. what on earth was that? Rez has been caught out. Was he run boosted? Yeah, he was. Was Keto just looking in that direction? Maybe aware of that maneuver, but to do that against an eco. Oh, oh, they have an AK. They have an AWP. And he just found a frag out of nowhere. Tizian had no right to take any damage there or to do rather any damage. So now they've got two frags, neither of which NIP were willing to give up. There's an advantage for the CTs. There's an AWP, there's an AK. There's a nade for Tamsin that I'm sure he'd love to get square onto the jaw of one of the three remaining. Twist is peeking into Searson and finds a crucial frag. Now they can deploy their smokes and start to win this round, especially when Tamsin's missing AWP shots. Centaurus will try and fill the void or just accept his fate. They've got two weapons to save. They're returning to the They thinking about it? They were. They're back and forth again. planted yet. Centaurus, hello? <laughs> okay, it gets managed in the end. That felt very strange. And that uh, seems to be the case here as we do are up to the scoreline of 14 to 10, still in favor of Big. They have enough money to opt in for the buy-in. Maybe that's why Centaurus and Keto headed back over, wanted to see if they could steal one away. But yeah, it looks like Keto was more than ready for this. Just peppering him on down. And the fact that the AK stays on the ledge, that's good too. I thought it was strange to throw out the nade before they even heard the bomb getting planted as well, so just indicating that they were close by. Should see how potent they can be. Will the double orbs be the key to success again for Big? Will Keto opt in again? He's got 5.4. Seriously only operating with, oh, okay, 5k. Keto's actually dropped him the orb, which means that Keto will only be working with an M4 and no utility. Seriously will now be able to buy in behind that. And with Keto being the primary B holder, I'm curious to see how they jig this CT side around. Tabson still has a little bit more cash to invest right here, and he will get a Molotov. So they have three of them, four smokes and a diffuse kit, but only one. So if Tizian falls in the obscure position and the bombs down on the other side, it means we will be in a hot water for big. Again, smoke from Rez. Should see that landing. Oh, did he not throw it? Oh, he has. There you go. Oh, oh, right. That's a very, very nasty death for Tizian. He thought he'd just be jumping for info. He catches some lead to the chest. That's the kid I was talking about. Look where it is right now. So it's deep towards a ramp. So if this becomes a super late round situation on the A site, they're not going to be able to find that big. And if so, towards B, that might be even worse. Those are the worst deaths, because you know this is usually the perfect comedy timing of, all right, guys, no early deaths, yeah? And he's like, yeah, as he jumps for info and gets yeah. banged. Well, salt, salt in the wound, perhaps. They are still definitely looking to overcome this disadvantage. Tizian going down does give the ninjas a real open door for an 11th. Well, this is Keto over towards B with no utility. I don't think they want to push the issue. They're going to let Twist lurk while they set up this A execute. So Centaurus and Sirius, and they're going to have to be a combo here for a couple. Nades are good, just dispelling everybody from the boost box. Now the smoke starts to come out. That's going to force Sirius and into a decision. Do I force forward or do I drop back? Great grenade. Great kills. And Taras through the smoke. Keto's found one as well. This Look round has quickly fallen. Turning it around. They lost Tizian early. Nork needs to plant. He's trying to find a safe haven. It's actually a full fake. So trying to draw any, out of smokes. anything that remains. The smokes will fade as he tries to battle back in for the plant. Hampus would definitely be in a prime position to deal with that. 
He's holding the elevator push, a good wall bang. Zentaris can't punish, Hampus holding, turning it back and forth. It's a tug of war between these two. German side advances, smoke on Searson. It's the only one they have, and he's hit the necessary shot so he can deploy it. Rez going down, smoke deployed on site. Hampus needs to find one here before they get on the bomb. They're getting on it already. He has the lineup, but he's got so many targets. Good shot, Keto gone. Short can peak now, and it's perfect. Nork has actually disrespected the smoke. They have no idea. Searson's missed his shot. Nork trying to help. Searson hits it, and they have got... No. It's the kit. The kit was Tizian's. It was down on the ramp. He was the first death. It, yeah, Chad. exactly. It's come out to play. You wouldn't expect it, but big... Oh, they've dropped the ball here. They tried it all. We should have kept track of that kit retrieval. It is picked up for future reference, but this is how it all was won. That was the frag that dropped the kit. And after so much hard work of Big overcoming all of the odds, NIP will take the round by virtue of the absent kit. Well, Hampus had all three kills there, and he's the one who kept the AWP for the entire round. So I'm not sure if Nork's saying, hey, listen, boss, the op's just not hitting today, which has allowed Hampus to pick it up. And that is one of the in-game leader's specials. He tends to take these rounds, grab them by the balls, and throw oh, an 11. Oh, Sirson, you aggressive bean. Wide strafing into the gap and the smoke, hoping to catch a T crossing. Now perhaps might want to take that orb elsewhere. He's shown presence ramp, but look at this. Plopsky quick to deny it. Even though there are three pistols for big right now, there are two orbs alongside of that. So if they can find some picks again, and this might be a great way to go about it. Zantara's about to mount up and over. Damage done and Plopsky falls. This is a great start. Ask for more. They could steal one away here, big. Double orb and pistols. Conservative, believe it or not. We're gonna see the wall bang this time. Hampus had so much impact on his orb last time. He's trying for the wall bangs and taking heavy nade damage for his attempts. He wants to find Zantares, and there's a limit to what he'll be able to get away with here. There's four CTs on the site, bigger in the right place. Time. 35. They cross and peak on the second flash. Trying to elevate Rez, trying to find a way in. Isn't using that smoke to his advantage though. Rez has won the duel. That's the biggest start. And now that bomb should go down. Damn, Rez through the smoke. Nork wants more. He's got the bomb though. Might want to be a bit more conservative there. Tucking in just in the nick of time. All from Rez. Twist has even got another. So not going to be the steal. This is exactly what the ninjas needed. He's getting swung on. A couple of extra bullets leaving the AK, the AK of Nork there. Might have to change my tune. It did just feel like a matter of time not that long ago, but this has been NIP battling back. Six. In response to the five that started Big Clan off on the right foot. Time out. It will actually be just one remaining. So Big Clan are using them when they're under scrutiny. Can't blame them. Pretty liberal with that, aren't they? We just reflect. I think the scoreline at one point in this game was already 14 to six. So that's been quite the haul to get back in this. NIP are looking good now. They haven't even needed to go for too many of those gear changes. Toby there, the coach. Oof, that's a look of concern if yeah. I've ever seen one. Lots to talk through with this timeout because now with that conservative round that we've just seen and the six in a row that NIP have posted, big need to stop this and they need to stop it quickly. Rez is coming alive, 20 for him. 18 for Hampus, 17 for Twist. Some good impact from Twist earlier in stages. And Plopsky now, he's back in the mix, 15 kills. He was having a very rough time of it early on, but now it's a full fragging force from NIP. Then the same can be said for Big in their first half. Crashes himself up there, Nork. A little bit unfortunate, but gets tucked across. And Zantara is actually onto the org. Nades deep, just tickles up Plopsky. Tizian trying to hide in plain sight behind that girder. And look at this, Keto pushing forward. He is going to get decapitated. Rez finding an opening and they cannot continue to push towards B. Lobby is NIPs. Great resilience being shown here by the ninjas. Just materializing that belief that you can come back. Tricky little flash there from Twist. Look 
the angle from Zantaras. That org enables him to find that jewel. Practically oh. unwinnable, though, for Tizian as he peeks into two of them. He does cause good damage. He softened up Res and Hampus for the remaining org in M4, but Nork wins his jewel on B, and that's going to change everything. Yeah, the pivot. They'll make lots of noise on the bridge. It'll be audible. Sirson has to try and catch Nork before he crosses. But look at Nork being a cheeky beaver. He's actually part walking straight past him in the smoke. Sirson has no idea, but neither does Nork. Oh, he does. Look, Sirson's checked it. <gasps> before he pulls the trigger. Bailed out. Twist arrives. That's going to be 13. My God, NIP making a very strong case for a T-side comeback here. Seven on the trot. Imagine if they do this cleanly. They could net this 16-14. Overtime might oh, not even be no. an issue. I mean, that would be uh, enough of a reason for Toby to start pulling out his hair. Yeah, well, you think about this as well. Big move on to Nuke, and they're going to have to operate on the T side. I know that's where they got a big chunk of their rounds here on Vertigo, but NIP, with all that confidence, if they steal away this map in that fashion, might be ready to absolutely put big away. Rez hunting now, just Centaurus to find in signature AK-47. Does land the first shot. More pressure now coming in from A, and Nork will finish him off. That's going to be a flawless round from NIP. Looking very, very good as they isolate those jewels. They got enough cash for the rest of this regulation here. They got everything they need. Tizian just picked one target there as well. A one for one trade. But better than the unconfirmed damage. And yeah, he is frustrated. I would be too. Not the way you want to go down. Taking a look here, big. Last one. Yeah, just have siphoned through these. And they are just in that max loss bonus situation where it's 3,400, 3,400, 3,400. Unless you save guns, you can't make the buys work, and they haven't been able to do so. NIP quite diligent in a few of these chases. And I don't know what the option is here. They will have to, well, not concede. They will do their best to fight for it, but they're going in with only some upgraded pistols. Maybe a light bit of utility. The double orbs not working. Three nades, two smokes. A couple of deagles so far. Tabs and yet to purchase. Serious in the same. So they're going to... Oh, there we go. Sirius has just bought in Tabson as well. So they've left it quite late out of spawn, but regardless, they're in. Nade's ready as the change of pace. It's over towards B. The nade is good. Three of them softened up. But once again, it's only the pistols have to hit some bangers, Keto. They're coming in so thick and fast. He's going to run out of options. Plopsky's made a decision for him. Nice dunk. It's a consolation prize. Nork to be pressured. Nade promising. Sirson likely to go down to the spray here. Nork stabilizing and NIP are about to find the equalizer. It's only Zantares. These frags and rounds have been so quick, Chad. 14-14, would yeah. you bloody believe it? So just to recap, if you've just joined us, we had a six on the trot out of the gate of our second half of our second game, first map. I put Big Clan on 14 and they've been on 14 for seven rounds, now eight rounds straight. NIP. Have managed to close the gap and now if anything it starts to favor the ninjas by a large margin not only the confidence not only the fact that they just have to do what they've done eight rounds straight again but also the fact that big clan half investing into this one they will not get everything they desire it's going to be the only orb on sis and won't get to see any double action this time keto's been flirting with the idea and so we head into the war room big clan what has been working Definitely not going to be wanting to see anyone go down on the uh, jump peak ramp. When they had the A ramp progression, remember, we had Sirison, uh, sorry, not Sirison, Tizian beating Plopsky with an MP9 versus an AK around the cusp of the smoke. We had a couple of picks coming through, and here it's completely changed. NIP, they have all the confidence. They're the ones in control of this game, the pace. Oh, now not the damage. Hampus actually getting tagged. Ooh. He's on notice early. Ito dropped early as well. Sirson, Molotov and frag that molly was Yikes. so good Sirson forced now to watch and that's star orpa gone klopsky gets to take some control off the back of that tizian white won't be re-aggressing dunks an aid onto rez half his health similar shrapnel lodged into tizian you can see zentaras have got under ramp smoke from headshot that's look at this gamble there's four players now from big on a they have a feeling this is coming they've completely given up mid they've completely given up b and Oh, wait, no, there is a player over towards B in the lower side. The, the little radar tapped me off guard. I thought he was over there towards the top. Never mind. I got excited for nothing. I wouldn't say nothing, Chad, though, because they were flirting with the B rotate. <laughs> Second guessing themselves now, Big. 
That buys about 15 seconds. Good smoke. Shorts the threat. Has a need. We'll drop it right onto Hampus. That's going to be a frag here. <gasps> Ooh, okay, get away. Good info too. Yeah. Here they come. Tizian, this is a perfect time. Smoke on short. They're going to have to run through that. And this is aggression. The nade found Blobsky. This is better. Big. Finally, break their silence. Thank you, Zantares. Triple kill from him. And their eight-round drought. Crucial moment. Round 29 is where Big find their 15. Jeez, they took the fight to them here. Imagine if now they close it down 16-14. They let NIP expend all of this energy on the comeback and then just close it down in the final moments. Important round now. Overtime or bust for the Ninjas. They brought back in Hampers doing the primary orping. Looks like Nork said, too hard for me today. Back towards A we go. Do or die now. Big, just one more round. Seriously operating with only a scout here. Oh, Rez, his jiggle has completely revealed him. And plopsky has gone down to Zantarez using all of the bullets in his clip, but he's managed to get one and get away. Rez is working with 15. Are Big really about to finally find those two elusive rounds in the last two rounds of regulation? They've started strong. Nort could be the difference maker. Did Wasn't feeling the AWP, but he is feeling this B aggression from Keto. Gitter needs to chill, they have the number advantage. He's locked in now, this is a matter of time, one minute. Don't, it shouldn't be Rez peeking first though. He's so low, it's a guarantee for Keto if he just clicks his mouse. 55. That's the jiggle, Nork confirms it. Doesn't take Rez down, that's important. Now Nork pays the heavy price in blood. And Hampus is trying to sell A as best he can, but the finish B is on its way. Tamsin has to get some info somehow. There's two here now. And they're faking B going back to A. This is ridiculous. And Zantaris has been caught. Oh, Hampus. Oh, Hampus with the impact. He wants overtime. The in-game leader that leads by example. Leads from the front. Aggr aggressive into the info. Searson gets it. And they are off to OT. Big cannot overcome the ninjas in regulation. And we are off to the overtime. Of course it's overtime. Same as last time. We'll take a quick break and be back for OT.
still be on my feet Forget all of my fears Cause I know my destiny I feel a champion Waking inside of me OT, OT, it's time to separate the two ninjas in pajamas and big clan. I've got Chaddy B alongside for the ride. These two teams inseparable in regulation. It looked like we were going to be seeing a full comeback from the ninjas in pajamas, but in true Counter-Strike fashion, we go to overtime. It was 14-6 to big at one stage in this game. They were looking phenomenal, but... NIP, they weren't done just yet. Out of the final 10 rounds of play, they won nine. Eight of those were on the trot. And now we're at 15, 15, oh, MR3, four scopes. 16K. Four scopes on this setup from CT side. Kito will fire off a shot, the flash forcing his hand. And now they take the B stairs control, or at least waiting for the nades. Resin Hampus will start their ascent. And Searson has successfully found his mid frag every single time. This time it's a successful jiggle from Twist that confirms the setup. Oh, timing on this. Oh, what? Tizian caught straight through the smoke. Plopsky, that is a dream. Remember how Plopsky started this game? He was struggling. He was, truly. And Nork's even back onto the orb, so found his confidence now they're in overtime. NIP are going to be feeling themselves here, especially if Nork can come alive. The confidence they'll get with a win like this, as far as that is concerned for the series, may be huge, but they need to get past them. And Tabson wants more info. That's more than info, but it gets immediately traded. So now you're on a 4v3. And I will remind you that with the double orb investment, retakes are not so fun for Keto and Searson. Centares might have to be the difference maker. And he's got his smoke. It is perfectly timed if he drops it now. He can swing, though. Oh, oh. no. They both line up. Zantares has found impact. Hampus and Rez. That's a desk slam moment, because just like that, just through one man, Zantares has made a round that looked like an NIP advantage. Quite the opposite. Twist planting could change things. Looking promising. Getting it down and doesn't get away. Zirson's dunked him, finishing off what the wallbang started. Nork. He said he's got his confidence back, Chad, but how much confidence do you have in him here? Molly towards his position. Smoke on the bomb. And he finds the elevated Keto. He needs to stick around. He can't let them get on that plant. Oh, nearly hits the quick flick. He doesn't. Oh, Centaur is off and another chance for Nork squandered. Keeps playing around the smoke. If he could just stop it. Oh. <laughs> Sisson pushes through with the blade. I think he landed on his head. That is a nasty way to go. Yeah, that summarizes it perfectly. Knife kill for Sisson. I like the try. You see that miss onto Zantares basically losing him the round. Nork, I liked his positioning, but it was Zantares with the better transfer. Look at the spacing on Hampus and Rez. He didn't have to move his cross there to get the double. He did land on his head. Oh, right next to him and stabs him in the spine to finish. What a way to do it. That's a big round as well. And that spurred on push from Hampus and Rez was because of the Zantara smoke. They tried to play ahead of it. They tried to get in front of it, and by doing so, it just lined them up perfectly for Zantara's to close that one down. 26 for him now as he leads the charge, and NIP in overtime still had some timeouts left. Probably a good time to take one. If you've just been rattled by that. And Nork definitely had his opportunities. A couple of shots going awry right there. The difference between winning and losing a round is big. We'll pick up the first in overtime. But how many more can they muster? Both teams with better T sides than CT sides. That should go without saying if you've been following this one. So if Bigger able to get two out of the three in this first half, they'll be sitting pretty. All right, timeout taken. Welcome to Twist's Scaf Smoke tutorial. Thank you for coming. We'll even follow it through the sky for all of you flying with Twist Airlines today. Obscuring the vision of an aggressive Zantara. Oh, or is he going to use it? You can see he's charging into it. Yeah, like a moth to a flame. He's peeking behind it. That tiny little slither gap in the smokes is all that Nork has to work with at this point. They both throw some speculative shots through. Jeez, that was through. Yeah. Through the tarpaulin. But Plopsky previously catching a frag in a similar fashion. Now Searson's caught Twist. That continues to be a duel that favors Searson. He's taken a first blood on their mid lurk. Takes a lot of confidence from Twist to keep going for a fight like that. And some great utility usage here from Big to hold them at bay. So a deeper smoke, now the Molotov. They will most likely wait for that to dissipate before they push forward. Zantaras can even drop this after that Molly. It's completed at seven seconds. 
But back and forth we go, it's just exchanging nades right now. No one actually being able to see one another, but damage still done to Plopski is... Will this be the final destination? B -b 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 boosting. Oh, the flash as well. Time it so well with the flashbang, you just don't get a chance to even punish. Another frag, Tizian's found it. And what? Nork, he had the aim, didn't have the frag, and this time he goes down on the search for more. Hampers caught on the B aggression. This is great from Big Clan. They had firm control of this game for most of regulation, and it looks like it's back in their remit again. Two of the three CT rounds already there. There's one final to be played out. And if you're NIP, if you're threat, you've got one more round to make an impact, one more round to post, and you've got one more timeout. Why not? <sighs> well, at this stage of the game, you really have to wonder what NIP are going to pull off because Hampus was instrumental in some of their comeback rounds, and that was him as an in-game leader, having to take a lot of liberties, having to take a lot of risks and hitting some massive shots. It was with the AWP, it was with the AK, but it was all on Hampus for some of those key rounds as part of the comeback. They might need to look to him again. Just looks like they're out of options. Bigger handling this well. That is the last time out for NIP. So if this one is a back and forth affair and we continue forward well into the night, the coaches won't have those pauses to talk to their teams anymore. Visor in, the AKs are looking great, big. Look at the smiles on their faces. Four AK-47s. The all for Sirison. The exact same buy, identic on the other side of things for NIP. They need a round. They can't go into this second half with nothing. And back towards A, they trundle. It's going to be the same scenes. Well, since that's enough to deter him, I think. Significant damage dealt to the defensive Orpa. Final round, let's see. If the NIP can post something. Molly onto Tizian, he smokes it himself. Surely they've got nades nade for him, that. Yeah. yeah. This is going to hurt. Get him out of there. Ouch. Deleted. Even, Even a third, third for good, for good measure. measure. Jinx, <laughs> buy me a Coca-Cola or a Pepsi. All right, well. Centaurus has actually walked straight back into Elevator. Searson's going to drop his ramp smoke. Nork's well ahead of that. Nothing to be concerned about here. They're going to regress with uh -oh. this again. Uh-oh, back turned, double. This is what NIP oh. for, and Rest triples it. He ain't going empty-handed into the next half. He'll take not only three frags, but he'll take a round the first for NIP on their T-side three here in OT. Okido well, has to go for this, so let's see. A one on five. Smoke and a flash. What can you show us, Kido? Well, you've been heard now. Oh. Please stop spraying, Hampus. I'd like to try and get a kill here. Bomb's half gone. That was the frag he was waiting for, but there's mollies and bullets. Yeah. So 17 to 16, two to one. If you're keeping track of the OT, we swap sides. Get to see Big Clan now working on their T side. Magic number was displayed there for you in the middle of the screen, first to 19. If we go 18, 18, we go again. We've got some great ideas for a, a switch up of how overtime could be played. Yeah, I think this first one I'm happy with. You kind of, you know, in football, how they do like uh, extra time and then golden they go into gold, gold, goal yeah. and penalties. We may as well have something similar in Counter Strike because overtime is going forever. Is MR3. Yeah, and then the future one, it's still hard for me to explain because I'm a little bit of a Muppet. Ah, you got it, bro. You just play one round on each side, yeah, keep swapping, swap. and then the first to find two consecutive is the winner. Precisely, my dear Watson. I got you, brother. Hampus could be dead here. Great precision from Zantara's crosshair placement better than none. Smoke towards Scaff. Someone on NIP needs to level up with the double here, and it looks like they're going to be pushed back into Limbo over towards A. It is just Rez. They've got two postured towards B, one towards middle in Twist. He's going to be the quickest rotation through that elevator room. Utility's still decent. You can see they're still holding onto a truckload of Molotovs to help dissuade this plant. But Big have got everything they need as well for an ASAP piece, and now that they've got full ramp control, they might set up for this. Rez has even taken damage through the boards, getting melted on down, so the Argy Bargy. Just being there has practically cost him his life. They actually swap out so the AWP can provide assistance from afar. Smoke's deployed, and this is where you just basically lose all vision. There they bloom. The only option is to jump over or drop a nade. Molly for headshot, it's perfect. Short of vulnerability. That's Santara's responsibility. He's found it. That's the kill. That is the one. 
Rez is just too down low to contest here. The Molly will not stop the plant if Keto keeps spraying all over their own smokes. It's the big clan special. And that's a very stylish finish. Keto takes three in the round. Puts 18 on the board. That's match point. They got two of them. Big clan, they've been here before. NIP closing the door of it. And that was in regulation. It seems like Big Clan have got another chance to do what they could in, in regulation. Yeah, well, let's see if they can actually... Oh, wow, <laughs> that was a stylish finish. Boy, that was hot. Let's see if Big are able to do it here, because next up is their map pick. It is Nuke. They've really had to battle in this one, seeing lots of innovation. Oh. And early stages, both players, Tabson and Sirison, taking huge damage. Jesus, Sirson. Tabson, both operating on a slither of health now, and Hampus up to his usual tricks, his usual antics on match point to be pushing a ramp smoke. Of course he is. He's even found a tiny little gap. He's going to get Sears in here. Where is he? Oh! Antares can't trade Im immediately. Gets it eventually. Four on four. Twist. Trying to give him the Sears and treatment. And he gets it. There you go. Bit of a roll reversal. There's more where that came from. You could re peek into it. Rez confirms that there's presence ramp, but Tabson's dropped the bomb. Twist has found it. This is great. NIP. Only need two more. Plopsky is pushed up aggressive here on B. I wonder if Keto's going to be ready for that. He's backed away. Perfect timing for Plopsky to start taking info. Calls B stairs clear. Twist, he's been trying to fight Sears and Zorp in mid this whole time, and now there's even two orbs holding it. You want to see his Antares peak? <sighs> Did damn hitch Keto takes off to his head. So bomb retrieval is the name of the game, and he's managed to do that without too much of a price to pay. But caught out by the push and pop posi li 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 positioning of Plopsky. What do you reckon, Alex? Maybe the tabs and B rush with all the flashes and nades behind it. It worked for them in regulation. It was a key round. It was. It's not the spawn though. Just tabs and fancies chances. This was good stuff by Twist. You can see him just creeping back in, re-aggressing. And there's Plopsky closing it down, not letting him get away. We are going all the way. It doesn't seem to be stopping here tonight. One more for double OT. It's not towards B, it's over towards middle, and they are quick. They want to capitalize on the fact that there's AWP presence. Twist is going to get run down. Well, they're going to try to. They need the flashbang. Supportive incendiary. There's the flash. Twist naded down to 42 and actually pulling a smoke out of him too. Did he drop it? He didn't in the end. Thought better of it. Well, they forced NIP to stay light on their toes. They play heavy in rotation. As you can see, three individuals were fortifying middle. One pushed in towards B right now, and that's just Rez on his lonesome towards the A bomb site. A lot of pressure here, and it feels like once left in limbo over towards short, every team struggles with this, and that's back where the pressure point is. Grouped up is big, leaning towards A now. These jewels are everything for NIP. They lose this, they might lose the game. It's a great nade onto Crane. Rez forced out by the Molotov, and Keto swinging at the perfect time. He's on for 28. Dead. Rez is gone too, added to Keto's list. He's on for a dirty 30 into OT. He even catches a tight line on Twist. That's a triple kill entry on match point. Oh, he wants done more. Yet. Give the man the ace. Keto, a man possessed, looking for an AWP frag to finish it all. Get out of his way, boys. Ampus with a point to prove and a round to win. Four more where that came from. Keto wants the ace. It's Antares to seal the deal. Big. Take the ninja's pick away from them.